Okay, so welcome to the common denominator. I am going to go over a long lost art, and it's called long division. In particular, we're going to do long division of polynomials. Now, but before we go over polynomials, what we're going to do is we're going to look at just doing regular numbers. Okay? Recall that if you have two numbers being divided, the first number is called the dividend. The second number is called the divisor. You can also rewrite it to look like this. As a result of negotiating this problem, you're going to come up with two things. You're going to come up with a quotient, meaning the answer, and you're going to come up with a remainder if the number doesn't divide equally. Let me give you an example. 5 goes into 40 2, or 5 goes into 4 0 times, so you can't put anything over the 4. So, but 5 goes into 42 8 times, and so 5 times 8 is 40, with 2 remainder. If we were ending, you would have a, a quotient of 8 and a remainder of 2, but we're not, because of this 5 here. So you bring the 5 down, and so now you say 5 goes into 25 how many times, and that's 5. And so 5 times 5 is 25. And then you subtract again for a remainder of 0. Just simple division. Simple long division when you have two numbers and your result being the quotient. And we're going to do the same thing doing polynomial, polynomials. We're going to do the same type of division using polynomials. Okay, given the same format, these two numbers, recall that we put the first, the second number out on the outside, 3x minus 4, and we put the second, the first number on the inside. Okay? 9x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 36. So far, there shouldn't be anything new. Okay? So what we want to do now is to take a look at this number here, 3x, and determine what number can I multiply to get 9x cubed, just like we did in long division with regular numbers. Well, it turns out that 3 times 3 is 9, so the number should at least be 3, and 3 times, uh, 3x times 3x squared give us 9x cubed. So we put here 3x squared. Now that we know what number goes into 9x cubed, we have to multiply this number by the entire divisor here. 3x squared times 3x give us 9x cubed. And 3x squared times minus 4, or negative 4, gives us negative 12x squared. Again, just like long division using regular numbers, we subtract. But 9x cubed minus 9x cubed is 0. But what's interesting here is that we see we have a negative here and a negative number here. That makes this 12x positive. And so in fact, this is now 6x squared plus 12x squared giving us 18x squared because we had those two negative numbers there. Just like in regular long division, we bring down the next number plus 3x and we start over again. So what number 3x can I multiply with to get me 18x squared? Well we know that 6 times 3 is 18 and 6x times 3x because x times x is x squared gives us 18x squared. So this next number must be 6x. So now we multiply 6x times the entire divisor here. 6x times 3x gives us 18x squared. And 6x times negative 4 gives us 24x. So minus 24x. What do we do? We subtract. 
Again, we have that situation where we have this negative here and it's negative here, so that makes this number a positive. And if you subtract 18x minus 18x, you're going to get 0. Or 18x squared minus 18x squared, you get 0. And then 3x plus 24x gives us 27x. Okay? And here we go again. We bring down the next number. This is our last number to bring down, which is a minus 36. Okay? And then finally, what number can I multiply 3x with to give me 27x? Well, 3 times 9 is 27. And so if I multiply 3x times 9, I get 27x. So we have 9 here. I take the number 9 and multiply by everything here in the divisor. 9 times 3x gives me 27x. 9 times a minus 4 gives us a minus 36. What do we do here again? We subtract. Okay? Remember we have a situation where we have a negative here and a negative here. So this must be positive. And so we subtract 27x minus 27x. It gives us 0. And if we subtract 36 from a negative 36, it also gives us 0. So our solution to this problem is 3x squared plus 6x plus 9, which is called our quotient, and our remainder is 0. That means this number divides evenly by this number.